Stormers. It's time to take out your Sky Stormer Handbook. Today we're going to work on Red Jewel 2.1 and Red Jewel 2.2 together. Are you ready to get started? We are starting Red Jewel 2 together, and the title for this section is Jesus Dies and Rises Again. Let's start out by reviewing some of our verses together. Isaiah 9.6 for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Psalm 100, verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Matthew 19:14. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. Luke 19.10 For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. So to finish this section, go back and say all four verses again to your grown-up helper, and then have them sign your handbook. Did you get that done? Let's move on to Red Jewel 2.2. Today we're going to be listening to a biography called A Centurion Believes. Now a centurion is a Roman army officer who was usually in charge of a hundred soldiers. He would also be in charge of the smaller group of soldiers that were at the cross. The Roman centurion laughed out loud. Before him stood a man who had called himself the King of the Jews. Ha! The centurion laughed. That's the silliest joke I've heard, because he doesn't look like a king at all. The gang of soldiers shouted, Let's dress this man, Jesus, like a king! They took off Jesus' clothes and wrapped a purple robe around his shoulders. They twisted together some thorny branches to make his crown. Hail, King of the Jews, the bullies teased. They knelt before Jesus, laughing and spitting on him. <laughs> Put his own clothes back on now, commanded the centurion. We must follow our orders, he said. The centurion and his soldiers marched out of the palace fort. They led Jesus through the city and outside the gates to a place called Golgotha. Crucify him, yelled the crowd. The soldiers grabbed Jesus and stripped off his clothes. They nailed his hands and feet to a large wooden cross. Then, bang, they hammered a sign to the top of the cross. It said, this is Jesus the king of the Jews. The centurion and his soldiers hooted and howled with laughter. What a funny looking king. Suddenly Jesus opened his mouth. Father, forgive them. They don't understand what they are doing. The centurion stopped laughing. Did Jesus just say forgive? Shouldn't Jesus be angry at them instead? The soldiers kept joking and playing games. Let's roll dice to see which one of us gets his clothes, they said with a chuckle. But the centurion decided to watch Jesus closely. He watched the people passing by make fun of Jesus. You're not our king, they sneered. Why don't you climb down from that cross? Then we will believe you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus only looked at the people. He didn't say a word. Soon, the sky darkened, the teasing voices hushed. What's happening? The centurion cried. It's only the middle of the day, but it looks like nighttime. For three long hours, the centurion and his soldiers sat in the dark. Silently, they kept guard. Then, they heard a loud wail. The centurion ran to the cross. He stood in front of Jesus and watched. Jesus took a deep breath. It is finished, he cried. 
Then he bowed his head and died. At once, the ground rumbled and shook. The huge rock split in two. The centurion looked at his soldiers with big round eyes. He had never seen anyone die like this. With a shaky voice, he started to speak. At first, I thought this man was a joke. But now I know he was telling the truth clearly. This man, Jesus, was the Son of God. The soldiers nodded. No one laughed now. Instead, the centurion stood at the cross, praising God for the amazing things he had seen and heard that day. Sparky's Here's what you can learn from the centurion's biography. Jesus really is who he says he is. He is God's son, the savior and king of all people. Praise Jesus for his powerful work on the cross to save us from sin. You can read more about the centurion in your Bible. Look up the New Testament book of Mark, chapter 15, verses 16 to 39. Jesus had the power to stop people from killing him, but he didn't stop them. Jesus knew that his death was part of God's plan. Long ago, God said Jesus would die so people could be saved from sin, and that's found in Isaiah 53, 5 and 6. Let's listen to our Bible verse together. First John 4.15 Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him, and he in God. To finish this section, tell your grown-up helper about the amazing things the centurion saw at the cross, and then say John 1, 4, 15, all by yourself. Be sure to have your grown-up helper sign your book, and complete the weekly check-in so that I know that you finished it. Have a great week!